Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you about the uh, VN static and VN static monitoring the uh, network traffic. How you can monitor this traffic mon in your CentOS, uh, Fedora, Linux server, uh, desktop or uh, server supported, whichever you are using about this Red Hat, Linux, CentOS, Fedora. The same method, the same procedure you need to follow that I am going to show you how you can monitor having how can you track it so this is my website is www.cloudnetwork.in the website where you can find all my videos tutorial troubleshoot tips and tricks is there and uh, windows servers mac uh, linux ubuntu is there how you can you know, find about everything solutions and different uh, oracle database also you can find videos so let us begin now vn static is a console based network traffic monitoring tools designed for this linux and free videos also both the support is for this uh, console base so we'll having a heap of log net traffic selected network interface and generate block files whatever the errors you get or bugs you will be it will generate automatic logs and the win static information provides the kernel and also it will not sniff your network traffic and will ensure the light users of your systems that means it will not uh, give your uh, unauthentically sniff your information outside your network and it will use the software under this Linux so you need to at least version is 2.2 for the kernel so uh, these features are there for this one static since you can see on the screen uh, everything you can monitor the CPU loses CPU low multiple outputs multiple monitoring statics available for every system reboot JSON output is available and you can use your uh, month of follow weekly and your daily house also you can set up this interface bandwidth automatically upload detected so images generate all those things it can monitor and tracks so after that we we'll start up with the first installation about this vn static and vn static uh, network monitoring tools on that i'm using centos uh, linux server this is a website of this uh, vn statics and um, the first steps is first of all i'm going to downloading and login with the root first of all this is a command to downloading uh, your uh, um, vn static and after that i'm going to extract it then i'm going to insert the folder then i'm going to make it then we're going to install this one and after that we are going to create a database so for this is a command both uh, uh, you can use uh, uh, we have a uh, vas slash lab vn static or directly you can vn static use anyone you can use in step six and uh, step three uh, is uh, if it is missing or uh, you can create a database uh, if it is something missing means you can create it's not uh, mkgr slash vas slash lab slash vn vn statics so now let us move to this uh, procedure so this is the website of this vn static you can see on the screen and you will find how this uh, feature is there download is there and the similarly programs that and top docs and gr is showing ip track is there so when you scroll down you will find this uh, screenshot is there about this one so how it's going you can monitor with the graphical also user interface and the uh, text mode also you can access this vn static so let us start now this procedure so this is my centos linux server i'm using and uh, let us begin now first of all login the root I'm using you can use Red Hat Linux server and also Fedora you can use anyone so clearing this one so I'm going to install it first of all by get HTTP semicolon slash slash and type humdi dot net website slash vm static uh, slash and not slash you need to give a version here latest version uh, one point thirteen dot 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 gz. So you can see the latest version is showing one point thirteen is the version for this Linux VDS supported. It's having the same version I'm using. So you can see, and I'm going to press enter here. It's connecting not. Uh, I forget here to write again. Uh, vnt slash vn static okay press enter now it's connecting that has been downloaded let us check ls so you can see on the screen on the red color is showing vn static is there 
clear this one i'm going to extract it here tar hyphen x vf and give a file name vm static press tab to get a full command press enter now that has been extracted let's move to inside this folder uh, before moving type ls to check the extract folder is where is there uh, on your can see on here is there uh, vn static about to blue blue color you can find blue color i'll see so blue color is your folder which have been extracted type cd vn static version press enter uh, let us clear this one okay type ls now you can see uh, we need to uh, type here make so just press not uh, yes make press enter so so when i type make install i got this install uh, into this directories as these are the file with the permission has been installed and startup service has been not installed uh, but it can be find instruction under the installed documents so we will now move to the next turn step is there uh, for that one first of all i am clearing this one ok now uh, we need to have vn static to start ok so to create a uh, database press this one uh, it's showing this check it is configured and running um, so we instant will i have created directly and uh, let's create directly mkdir slash where slash lib slash vn static okay directly has been created now type vn static and uh, hyphen create hyphen i ether ethernet zero and uh, press enter so let us check so here you can see creating a database with this command and uh, slash etc slash vn so config to check customize vnc configuration to say network start we need to type vn start and vn static happens to check for the holy static holy statics and d for daily statics and help to get uh, so here's to make a easy static ready uh, to generate the pin image this is one the command and this one is to check our statics uh, holy and uh, image so let us begin so my friend uh, when I type this command, I got it this one. It's showing this following interface are available. So if you type vn static, so what showing is new database has not found. Nothing can do. So to create a database, use the following command and replace Ethernet with the following currently available. So let us do one thing, just replacing this one and typing e n t s three. So that it's press enter. So oh, something look. Okay. Here you can see the database has been created, and VN demons if it is currently running in order to start the monitoring, restart. We need to restart the VN static. So if you have any clarification you can comment below to my video. Like us and share my video. Thank you for watching a new video. Please subscribe to Cloud Next channel.